this solution though, we're looking at Isn't She Lovely, written by Stevie Wonder, arranged or transcribed by Timothy Gondola. You can check them out, link in the description below to get the sheets. Now, this piece right here, played by Pierre E. Plot. How you can do this, I'm gonna play this slowly, one by one. Right, so you roll in. Here's the finger in, two, three, five, you can use three, four, five. for that but I keep the pedal on or something so I'll go again right maybe two there so one more time for you folks at home all right so two three five four one section and over. What I want you to follow is consistent fingering. Okay, hold that right and then you go to the next part. You can, if you can't reach it, reach, just roll it. Okay. Now I would actually recommend to get to 2-5 here, right, you have to reach all that. If you're okay with getting there in time, that's fine. Now, if we want to move on, let's see what the next part. It's just a repeat of what we were doing before. So this is a pattern we'll have to get to know. This is basically, if you know your... This is your D, F, A, C. You'll find this chord a lot. It's combined with a little chromatic in there for flavor, right? You can practice just doing this on its own. So it's just get to know this chord. practice that, but otherwise you'll learn a lot through playing this piece. So a lot of this. And then add that. Right, next bit. As well, so get to know your chromatic scales. Right. One, two, one. All the black keys are played with three if you don't know. All the ones here, you pinch on the intersections, as in one, two, two, one, like that. But everything else is a one. Right, right? so. Right, one, two, one, five, four. This is a not A natural. So. Same thing. So you can literally play 
put your thumb where the pinky is. Put your thumb where the pinky is. Okay, next up. And then when you get to that top, a little bit of a roll, a little bit of trilling action. You want a top note. Right, same stuff as before, so repeat. As you get to know this, it'll become easy. You just just repeat it. It's one single line. So sounds really impressive, but it's just really simple when it comes down to it. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? So ta -da, here we are. So that's the new one. So. chromatic going down but it's in chords so. right. now when you get to play this so. okay so that's just basic chromatic scale Accent these if you can. So if you see the next page here, it goes up in a pattern as well. Sounds cool, but it's just a simple. This is a D, F, A. This is a four note chord here. It's a D minor chord. Alternate, so one, three, two, five. Practice that. And it changes up the pattern when it gets up high. So it goes, right? And that's it. Then at this point you jump one. So group those together. So let's just see. So. One, three, two, five, one, four, two, five. Right? And then, Oh, that's the last one. So, one, two, three, four, done this pattern, new pattern. Same pattern up here, A, F, D, A, and then A, F, D, A, right? A, F, D, A, A, F, D, A, okay? That's one, all sequentially, right? And then, right? It makes more sense now, doesn't it? So, and it sounds really cool when you play it. So when you come up from the chromatic, so. It's like you're super, da -da -da -da, you're going off to a dream is what you're doing. I don't know if he does pedal, but I should be holding this. <laughs> now know where you have to stop, so you count your things, right? Break it off, two notes per jump. Even though it looks like it's three there. Make your way up. Cause you got a long way to travel, right? And then you come down, right? And back to your, this is your home one. A, D, A, C, D, F, D, F, A, C, rearranged, right? So, come down to D. Come down to next page, please. Now, when you come down here, it's cut across the second page, right? So you're gonna have to put your thumb down here and just get in position and go down just to the same chord. And you'll be super fast once you know these patterns. So it's not that complicated anymore if you go think about it in groups. One, two, one, two, A, A. 
come down to D, chromatic, start the chord. Come down, keep continuing the chord. <laughs> uh, hey, clean it up. The easy part, right? So, okay. Does, it's a bit of a you know there's a swing going on but you know play it slowly now make your way up to the B flat here so if you can reach that right break it down, the first group is, that's all that is. And you just keep practicing that. Right? And then you learn the new pattern, instead of one, two, three, use two, three, one, two, three. You want to have enough to go all the way up there. Right? Double thumb that. One thumb here, start a new pattern. Okay, so pause the video when you never you need to. Now, if you have this down here, you five, three, one is what I figured out anyway. Right? Okay, and that's that's the back to the original pattern. Same thing before, right? G, D, flat, G, move it up, pinky up, move it up, pinky, bit of a roll, that's all that is. Now you start the hard, well, this took me a little bit to figure out, but now you're getting into the main part of the song, uh, the isn't she lovely part, the So, don't mind this, if you don't can't do it right away, just focus on the main chords. You wanna hear A, B, A, the rhythm is the part that I had a bit of a struggle with, so count with now. Alright, so hold on. Check your notes. Alright. Uh, that's the next page, but it goes. this I was super slow I was going and you can watch how I played this the first time it's a complete mess but I even got some rhythm wrong but right now what I figured out Page. So if we look at the next page, see if this connects. So, right. Now it's written there as that comes after, but if you really just listen to it, listen to the corner. I I like that a lot better if it's played with. So, you know, sue me. Oh. <laughs> right? And then 
try to get this so that you it forces you to memorize the next bit. So if you look at the air. Right? And then you you know you, you want to finish the rhythm, right? You want to finish the melody. Obviously, this is an improvisation. Nobody's reading the music. This is written for us, so we know how to play it, right? So, and then it starts the pattern again. And make sure you voice the top note. best part like you hear the melody it's great but I'm gonna play it real slow one time just for you okay so it's gonna be The hardest part for me, at least, was getting these. It's a swing kind of thing, right? get the rhythm that way if you want to da, da, you tap your foot right but you know I like to just count in my head if it helps you if you count out loud it's even better One, two, three, four. right but I found you know what I'm just gonna go with the flow of it now I've just kind of figured this one out One. to go in but you know if you play it too slow you're like well, how does this even work it doesn't even sound right right that's what that is so if you go get in there So if this whole piece, whole thing you sounded like. Then that's in the next page. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. I've just, you know, I'm figuring this out as I go. So this is kind of some things I wish I knew when I started, right? So this is a pattern too. You find out that these things that sound really like flashy and complicated are just patterns and these are nothing compared to the stuff that sounds kind of easy but uh, it's the rhythm and then if you figure that out it's no longer hard anymore. So all in all it's the same. Oh, I won't block your way. And that's on the next page, right? And then... I'm, 
I just think it sounds better that way. Right? And, uh, you know, I've yet to voice those top notes a little better. How do you do that? And how do you make the voice of the top notes? Right? You want to hear that? So you just make these softer, you make that louder. That's all it is. And you obviously you lean this way a bit more, pinky stretches, strains this way a little tight a bit more, but... repeat of the same thing. Right? And this is the new pattern. So, this, you will, I, what I figured out is if you have to get this one thing right first before you start both hands, So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, right? But it's uh it's really understanding uh it's really understanding right it's really understanding these um <laughs> these these ones here. obviously so knowing your chords right, right. <laughs> so once you get to know those to get to know the notes but that's keep that rhythm right I'm looking at where the left hand's got to go because this right hand staying it's no more it's not moving if you get the right hand to go on autopilot it's the same stuff now this is a big whole crap looking up. Big old uh, overlap. Whatever. I think in, you know sometimes it's just it's just you you play whatever makes sense. Like if it has F's, A's, C's and E's and you add a D in there. I mean, maybe it's a mistake the guy made, or maybe it's part of the jazz the chord, I don't know, man, but, you know, it sounds all right if I just play something that's in that region. Right, and this goes on a bit of a chromatic going down. It changes the chord, very, the, the progression. That's what that is. Obviously, whatever you land on, it goes right, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And 
and it gets into the part where it kind of escalates, right? So it definitely escalates from here on. Now, what I want you to do here is uh, take it slow. You want to understand that where this is going. Ba 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 bi bi oh, and it goes. So all it is is just. And if you can get those understanding of that after, you know, you can understand how, like if you, this is how I would play it. So I'm still figuring this out, but it's it's really just you have the basics, you have the outline of that, then you can add the truly fancy stuff. You know, I'm not even really caring how many of those are written there. It's you can trill as many as you want as long as you come back down and you, you come back on the same time. Right. So uh, at, the, at this point, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a guideline as long as you can make it back in time. And you will make it back in time if you just do that, too. It naturally happens if you have a good rhythm, if you count, if you use a metronome or you just have, you know, Good, good rhythm. <laughs> and a good rhythm just comes from counting. <laughs> yeah, I'm late. Now this transition out of there, I haven't nailed this quite yet, but it is. So. Yeah. As long as after, now you have to hold the top. So, so I would practice transitioning out of that. Once you hit this chord, That's the name of the game. So. Right, this is a cool part. This one required a bit of uh, coordination. And what you got to do. That's one. You have to hold one, two, three, one, and two, and two, and four, and one. So you have to tie that. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so get that down. Then you add the one and two and three and four and 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 right. So. <laughs> then you put the left hand, which you've gotten familiar with after you, if you should, if you, if you, you know, if you did this right. One, if you did it wrong, you just do it again. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Uh-oh, I didn't hold that tie, and it just, you know, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Lissando's up. Lissando's up. Now it comes here. So obviously, I spent a bit of time. I spent an entire, I think, uh, 
I mean, I spent some time. I'm not gonna tell you how much time is gonna discourage you, but <laughs> but um, <laughs> this one right here. It, I mean, that's that's why I mean this is like my third or fourth day um, trying it uh, in practice. Like, it doesn't matter. So. Very similar, right? Instead of jumping down to come back up, you kind of just jump up to play the chord. And then this one. And then it goes into the cryonic again, right? That's your transition. And then okay. you know, dissonance. And after a while, it kind of grows on it's the same pattern. And uh, here we go. This is gets in, this is the part. We're coming up to a cool part here. This part coming up. Okay, so what happens here? You have to think about this in terms of just what the melody sounds like. It's not necessarily figuring out the coordination now. You have to let the fingers go and try it. Think about following the melody. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and Okay, so one, da, da, da. so da, da, ba, 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 right? So it's a even. It's a two. It's a sex tuplet, right? And then the other one is a quintuplet. These are evenly played. But I think it says with flat palm fill and octaves, right? And we're not at that point yet where we're going on. We're on fire. Obviously, you do that later. You can get the outline of this where it needs to where the. This music needs to sound, have some structure, and then you can play with the play with the rules. You have to have established rules first before you break them. So. I think if you have the mentality of being able to play chromatic scale octaves, one four on the black keys, one five on the white keys, go up, Master that first. Okay, and then master that. Take your thumb, half the thumb. Don't don't need to like let it drag across. You can have a little bit of this support. You can even use a little bit of that to help you. It's not just this thumb, Glissando. You can use a little bit of that and act as more surface area so you're not pushing all the whole thing down. You know what I mean? Not, you don't hurt your fingers. All right, we're still working on that, but that's the gist of it, so. As, as, as you get this so that you have you have the left hand down your right hand is free to play as in free to just experiment free to play in time free to go out of time not out of time but just play in between the lines you know what I mean So we're still working on that. <laughs> now this is the cool part, which I'm talking about. It screwed me up, bro. I spent another, another bit of time on this. Not this part, but the part coming up, right? So one, two, three, four. Now, temptation here. 
you're used to doing. But what I need you to do here, what this requires you to do, one and two. You have to do that twice. Yeah. That's twice, right? Okay, and then it goes into the bad do 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 do. Okay, so one of these, two of these, come down. But it's not necessarily like not super fast like that. You're gonna have to so. about it like this, what helped me was I played them solids and I pump ba 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 right? Right? That's all I have time for. Okay, and then so. Okay, and then it'll take a bit of time, but you have to jump now. That's more like it. The A is not on B, the other B, it's on A. It's your number one spit because not I would have loved it to be but then you're off time you want to be on the one so it's one two right one three right so here we go okay so It'll help you if you just and then we'll worry about that one next. But memorize that one so that you can practice this going forward, back and forth. Okay. Okay, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of off, but and then if you relax it a little bit more, you know, no hard and fast rules. This is just me. Sound good. She emphasized. Okay. 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 And then this is all part of the same chord. Right. F D B flat G. Right. Only these four notes you're gonna play. So play it again. count this out. Uh, this is the whole thing is a transition. Okay, so it goes into that. So So don't look at this just as it looks simple. It is another section on its own compared to this. So really have it so that you have this section isolated. You know? And then I'll have all that down before you connect them all and then have it all down, right? Hey. I just like that. Okay, so. And then get 
ready to launch with this. Use that boom, T, D. Just use that as D, D. Shorten it or go too long. One, two, three, four, one. On four, your C sharp's going down. So. Now I like this part because it's just charming. So you have to hold the right hand. clapping so so yeah, let's do this again this is probably a break you know give yourself a break and get the audience involved So one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, bum, 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 bum. So if we're going this, so one, two, three, four, one. I just like that. It's just cool. So <laughs> yeah, and and and. and. Two and four and oh. one and two and three. get those nuts and four and one and two and three. get those nuts and four and one. the speed if you wanted to get that you know find the notes two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. get those notes and two and three, three and four and one and two and three and four and one Don't get that mixed up now because you know that this is that you went on a slow speed. If we came in at the right speed, one, one, two, there's no right speed. The only speed you should be playing at is the right speed that you for you, right? So and four and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and bomb, right? So here we go. One, two, so counting this in. That's way too fast because I don't know what I'm playing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, goes into the next part and we're getting back into the main melody main main course of the whole thing all right so get this part just find the right chords and you'll be home free Make sure one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and 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 three, and four, and one, and two, and
right and watch the sneak the three on you and whenever you've been skipping the threes for the past five, six bars, right? One, two, three. Just doing that. One, two, right? One, two, oh. All kinds of notes. One, two, and three, and four, and and two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right? So, one, two, one, two, three. Go back to the melody. One, two, three, goes to a different chord, up high. Those are the only four notes. A, C, E, G. C, E, flat, G, right? Switch two, dominant, dominant seventh of G major. Or G minor. And then back up two. Now there's this thing going on. You can do that later if you want to. But for now, you know, you know that. That's what you want to hear, right? And then. figure out these chords at this point you know the left hand's just kind of jamming uh, it's not playing the exact like correct or, or just it's not not the usual notes you play but it's kind of just clustering up <laughs> but I just you know what we'll just play what's seen there and you can cluster up whatever you want to cluster and it's this point, it's just what have we done before. And now it's the, the tuplets again. And then ba ba. Right, so we'll get to that. You can use that to practice. So. How you do this, you have to play in between. Together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, 
together, as in this is playing together, this is right, this is left, right? So, <laughs> together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, and back on time. One and two and three and four. to the F A C D or D F A C rearrange. It's the same. And then you come down. F D A. That's the outsides. So you look at the outsides and you figure out the insides. Like you got the hamburger and the hamburger buns, you got the middle. So figure out the buns, put it in the middle later. Where is it going next? Yep. So F D A F, right? Then you go ba, ba, ba. It's just a big cluster that actually stays in the same place. Your right hand, but all these notes, all these fingers stay in the same place. Don't move them. More or less. <laughs> yeah. And to say it's just exactly, it's a stamp. It's a stamp. And then you figure out the notes. Okay, good. So, and then you can roll them later. down to this part we're gonna wind down now with a chromatic it's up so figure out the right then you come down to the ending <laughs> it's actually like right, so <laughs> so when you break it down sometimes it doesn't sound like what it sounds like right um, sometimes it doesn't sound like what it's supposed to but you know then you speed it up and then it sounds like it and sometimes you need to speed it up sometimes you really need to slow down a lot of you all need to slow down especially me myself I gotta slow down so slow it down figure it out figure out the notes. If you want to go check this out, check out Timothy Gondola. Make sure you like, subscribe, go, go buy sheet music, support him and support me too. You can get join my join my stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, check it out. EasyPianoHacks.com. This is your boy Lucian Lou. I'm probably going to do another one of these. And uh, just let me know how it is in the comments. These are awesome. I'm happy to do more of these. Let me know. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and tell me where are you right now? What you're struggling with? Have you answered any questions? See you in the next video.